Okay, whatever. Let's 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 get it. Hello, friendly listener. You are now tuned in to the Rambling Rogue Show. I am your host, Rambling Rogue, aka Gyres Rogue, aka Gyres in the Jungle, aka uh, the West African Cave Dweller. Um, what is up with you? This episode is coming out on a Wednesday, and that is because... Yeah, we're on a different we're on a different setup here. This is the stream setup that we have set up for, of course, the Jai's Rogue streams, and um, basically, I'm coming to you guys on this setup to basically apologize to you guys. Apologize apologize to you guys first and foremost i just want to say that i'm sorry that this episode came out on a wednesday i'm sorry that i've been kind of slacking on this podcast to be honest you know um i did kind of think that having a podcast and running it by myself was going to be a little bit easier um i thought that um you know branching off with the small experience that i had from the first show the banana boys podcast i thought that i'd be able to just kind of make this smooth and seamless transition into my own show and sorry for that audio no no you can keep going it's 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 not just he's getting a dab to my brother but um yeah no it's just it's been it's been a little bit more difficult than i could have anticipated for and you know it's it's something i'm taking day by day and i'm not trying to burn out so that's why you have the episodes coming out in days that are not sunday that's why you have you know, apologies and disclaimers and things like that. But I just want you guys to know that I'm growing with the content that I'm making. So you guys get to grow with me. That's kind of actually, you know, a benefit you guys all get to kind of, you know, take part in as well. You as the listener. So as long as you're here listening or whatever, that's pretty cool with me. Thank you for listening. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. Let's see. Let's see if uh, let's see if this is working. Oh yeah, with a fucking bomb, man! Shout out to you, listener. This is the Rambling Rogue Show. This is episode. What are we on? What are we on? Episode fourteen, thirteen. Episode thirteen. I'm gonna say, if I'm wrong, hang me. No, don't hang me. Don't, 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 what? don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh. <laughs> Well, yeah, I just want to talk about the stream this week. I want to talk about how it's taking up a lot more of my time creatively and that it's a good thing. Um, It's something that I'm getting used to doing on a daily, if not semi-daily, you know, like, you know, uh, every other day type thing. And um, through streaming, I want this to kind of be the portal that I kind of go through when it comes to like making content then on YouTube in recorded soft, you know, like recorded, uh, uh, you know, formats and stuff like that, because it's like, as of right now with the vlog dreadlock journey, which we are on what dreadlock journey 24. So shout out to the dreadlock journey. Follow that on YouTube guys in the jungle. Um, with dreadlock journey going on and everything like that, I've kind of noticed that that's a kind of content that I can make consistently, but when I try to make other kinds of content, it takes me a little bit more time. And then I try to, I've tried to make content that's, you know, like, you know, very time strict. So it's like something where it's like, you know, I'm doing a reaction video or something like that, but as a talking head, but it's like, it's very difficult for me because I try to formulate my thoughts a little bit more, I think, than, than others do. So I just want you guys to know that the content that I want to make in the future is going to kind of go towards the, uh, I guess, conversational uh, side of things. Um, So basically, I want to make things that are, uh, I want to make videos that are jumping off points for, you know, good conversation, Um, you know, multiple perspectives being, being shown and unveiled sort of like you know, through 
this connection of like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, I kind of want to make like content like that. So that's the direction we're going in. That's the feeling that I'm trying to inspire. So like, yeah, um, I've been feeling pretty good this past week. It's the 11th. So it's what? Wednesday today. And if you watch Dreadlock Journey, I think in about Dreadlock Journey 20, uh, was that 22 or 23, you'll see that I actually, my car actually wasn't starting at a, on Friday, last Friday. So if you also follow me on Instagram, well, I don't think I, I actually display that on my Instagram. But yeah, if you'll see that, if <laughs> you watch it, uh, my car didn't start, I had to get it towed from my job. And that sucked because it was on a Friday, so I had to wait till that Monday to get it serviced. And, well, you know, I mean, it sucked, but it was actually kind of like a good situation because it forced me to be inside more. But, um, you know, the car being basically out of commission and the shop that I go to basically being open on Monday made it so that I couldn't see my crush. Because that's something that I also do, do, do during the weekends. And, you know, if you watch Dreadlock Journey, shout out to Crush Chronicles, all that. Um, you'll know that it's been kind of rough. It's been kind of, it's kind of iffy, whatever. It's always been kind of iffy with this girl. Um, Crush Chronicles is right now centered on this one girl who, I don't know if I really want to name her. I don't really think her name is important, but she's my crush. And um, she's been on, on the on the vlog couple times I think and what's what's important is is that it's just it's not exclusive to her like I'm not really obsessing over this chick that's what I want you guys to know like I'm I'm making this as like a series of my life more so like it's you know like this is my crush right now I'll probably have some sort of story to tell with it which I kind of do have the middle of a story to tell and then it'll end and I'll have another crush, okay? So it's like, it's not this chick specifically. I'm not, you know, that that would be weird. But, um, Crush Chronicles. I, uh, 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 am not really in a great place with my crush right now. I don't know what, what's going on. It's like signals that are more mixed than you could ever imagine. But with my car being, ca uh, you know, out of commission this past weekend like i said i wasn't able to see her and i hit her up about that letting her know got no reply haven't had a reply in actually about a week from her and um but you know that's normal and during that week i would constantly constantly backload those texts uh persistence is key and you know i think she would just see me in a different light or as in a lighter light if I just wasn't like that and that's the path I've chosen so that I, I'm carrying it out so Sunday rolls by and I hit her up again and I say you know what hey hey I really missed the conversation that we be you know sharing at the end of the week, the few conversations that we share at the end of the week, I really miss that. I long for that. And uh, I let her know that, you know, while I didn't come through this weekend, don't think I'm giving up. And, uh, you know, yeah, so shit like that. This chick, and let me not misquote her, man. Where's my phone? She messaged me back one reply. And only one reply. After spilling my guts out. And essentially just, you know, letting her know that, you know, I really do miss this human being. Like, I miss your your essence. I miss your presence. I miss you. After that, she says, please know I'm not interested. A straight dagger through my heart. A straight, and like, like, like. Literally, 
that 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 was that was that was the that was the wrong that was the wrong it was supposed to be this it was supposed to be that uh jesus it, it really was a dagger straight through my heart i was watching one piece call all caught up on one piece um i you know i love one piece best one of the best anime ever um total non sequitur i'm gonna tie it in right now um, I was watching One Piece. I'm all caught up in it. And if you're caught up in it, you just watch a few episodes that are... I'm trying to make this as spoil-free po- as possible. But you just watched a few episodes that are centered around Sanji. And Sanji and Nami have an interaction. And there's a specific interaction with them during one of the episodes of recent. Where, you know, they meet each other for, again for the for a, after a very long time after not seeing each other. But, you know, of course, if you're... Keeping up with One Piece, you know that Sanji, he's been doing some actions, and Nami, you know, she's been feeling a type of way about that. So, when you see the way that uh, they actually meet, and then the, 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 the feelings that get evoked by Sanji, that's exactly how I feel. He literally has, uh, at one point, a yellow dagger, like an arrow that just, like, just comes out of nowhere and just shoots straight through his fucking heart. But then, you know, just minutes later, you know, he's formed some thought into his mind that, you know, she loves him or, 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 that, or, that, or that there's hope. And he has hearts all over his face again. And um, that's honestly how I am, honestly. Like, at first, it's that dagger. It's that dagger. And you fucking feel it. It goes like, Kaw! and then you have to do some shit like, 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 like you know, you really, you feel it. But uh, then you sit back and you say, yo, why ain't you just block me, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, okay, wait. If you really, if you, if you wasn't interested in none of that, none of that, block, block me. You, you, you already knew that. And I ain't going to tell her that. I'll probably tell her that in person next time I go see her, which is, if it's Wednesday today, so that's going to be the probably maybe tomorrow, but eh, but the day after tomorrow for sure. But just block me. And she already knows that she had that option. So I'm saying you playing all this hard to get stuff. And I don't know why. Now, I'm going back one more time, like I said, just to get a full confirmation. If the vibes is off. If it is. Please know I'm not interested when I see you next. It's over. You know? And I mean, I'm going to go back to the start video at some point. So it's like, over doesn't really mean done forever, right? It just means, okay, done for now. So, yeah. That's that's where that is. That's where that is. Um, What's going on? Since last night, I have been really just um, taking in a lot of the words of uh, Virgil Abloh. I really don't want to come off. I mean, fuck how I come off. I mean, I, 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 you know, the way he speaks about being inspired. He has a few lectures that he's done at some colleges and shit like that. I really implore you guys to go see it, to go um, see and listen to these things. I mean, he, he gives out, you know, fashion new fashion shit that that he's been developing new new fashion shit he gives out new new pieces and new and you know unseen things that he's doing i mean they're probably out now but some of them but you know it's like it really does have its own benefit i think to anybody even if you're not really the type of person that likes to listen to something long which that's stupid you're probably listening to this right now so if you're listening to this okay that was dumb but you get what I mean, Virgil Abloh, man. Y'all really should go out and um, listen to his uh, lectures. There's one titled "Theoretically Speaking," and I implore you guys to listen to that one because in it, I believe it's that one. He he really um, kind of like explains like just the life of an artist and how the thought process is so open ended, and I agree so much with how open-ended and how you know just 
I guess perspective driven it all is. You could you could you could see something as completely closed off, done, finished, and destroyed, or you could see it as just, you know, a new platform to make something that we haven't seen. It's like, it's like, on a ground level, people thinking like that. When I see that, that's the type of shit that I resonate to. That's the type of shit that I kind of that I feel. That's the type of shit that I like. That makes me nod my head like, go, oh, okay, yeah, like. You know, there's a few young artists out here in my my local little area, the IE, that that kind of embody that. Um, the slums, of course. You know, they they got they got a little bit of that. You know, shout out to them. But there's a few little artists too. I won't really go into naming names right now, but. And, I just wanted to say that like. What also touched me about what he was talking about, what I caught was he, he, he keeps stressing that the way we think should be with, man, I'm still as fuck, hold up. Yeah, no, all right, we're back. Um, lost my train of thought a little bit there. But it's in um, how he designs all these different things. It's uh, he. It just m- gives me this feeling, and he kind of lets on to it too. That you know, he's kind of unveiling all the secrets and giving us now the keys. Like us being this, I guess, generation. This you know, the youth, whatever. But it it's incredibly like liberating, and it's it's definitely something I'm grateful to be a part of. In that. It just feels like that what a time to be alive feeling like holy fuck like I actually get to participate in this. It's like the great race and now you know everybody's like lining up it's just I don't know I just feel like I'm not the only one in this sea of creators that was listening to his voice as intently as you know as I was like I'm I'm not the only one like I can't be like that's the like it's crazy um yeah when he was talking about hold on give me a sec sorry about that had to close the door bro bro is playing his enba anyway yeah, no, when he's talking about the kind of feeling um, that, that, like, secluding yourself and perfectionism, he, he also talked about the, how those things are, like, I mean, just the devil, man. And, and they just don't, they don't do anything but slow you down. I mean, this world is just not, it, it's just not optimized for, I guess, uh, what, what do you want... It, it let me say this this world is specifically optimized and it and 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 he said it best this world runs at the speed of you scrolling up on your instagram and that's just facts man i mean you just nobody has time to sit and make a masterpiece you know and i don't want to call anybody out i don't want to make anybody feel alienated cuz i've talked to a few people that feel like that feel like this, like they, like their work is so, you know, important and things like that. And that, you know, especially out in LA, man, you'll see, you'll see people that they just have this pride about the things that they do. And, and, um, you know, the younger artist or or the younger in soul, you know, younger in spirit, that kind of artist, you know, they'll be a little bit more open and, and sharing with their art, but man, you know, like, it's just this, there's this, all their spirit and, 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 and this other kind of artist where it's like you'll see them a lot these people that just have so much pride in their shit they you know they put so much time into it yet they just can't see that hey putting it out in unfinished states and getting feedback and growing with you know the world rather than in your own lane and in your own path rather than you know tunnel visioned out and seeing only, you know, your own influences and, and the things you choose to take in and things like that. 
you got to let things shock you. You got to let things come at you. And I just agree with that so much. It's like, for me, I don't know how I'd apply it to my life, but I'd like to think that there's going to be an art piece that comes around. There's going to be a thing that I want to do. There's going to be a piece. There's going to be a project, something that I really want to do, but that I'm not going to know exactly how to tackle. You could kind of say that this stream, recording this podcast and all these other things are like that, but no, something bigger, something that like kind of takes the skills that I'm getting here and pushes them somewhere else. I don't know. Not quite sure what I'm talking about. I'm just prophesizing over here, but that project will call on me to get out of my comfort zone and to see things in a different way and to start to kind of be okay with outside influence on my work. Because right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm at this point where it's like everything is personal. Everything is through me, by me, done with me. So it's like, you know, it's like that. But I can't wait till I get to that level where it's like, you know, shared things. It's like in school, I always resented the, the the group project. I always resented getting together and, you know, having to talk and having to, you know, it just felt so forced and it, uh, and it just was always awkward because you always got paired with people that weren't your friends. And even when you got paired with your friends, you never got work done. It just, but I never realized that things like that were really the stepping stone to this whole conversation. And I only bring that up because I'm just now realizing a lot in life that the things I actually learned in grade school actually really do apply a lot in my life. Like, like maybe not math so much, but a lot of things in like, you know, like grade school English, high school English, especially like, you know, like bubble maps and, and, and things like that, man, those things help out a bunch. Shout out to you, Miss Baldwin, 10th grade teacher. She always had her feet out during, especially days like this in, in Cali, um, sunny ass days. So sh- sh- shout out to you, Ms. Baldwin. You get a shout out from Jairus Rogi. Anything else I want to say? <laughs> she, she, she always had her feet out, man. Every day she, when it was hot, she would take her shoes off feet right out. And Hey, they were done up. You know, you never saw Miss Baldwin's feet without like paint on them, and when you did, they were clean without paint, like just just totally nothing. And maybe, and if that, you know, you maybe never saw that, but like, you never saw a chip. Nope, none of that. And she used to just walk around giving people advice on writing and shit like that, acting like all like like half of the 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 males and some of the I'm sure the females in there had foot fetishes. Like, like, come on, man, that, that was ridiculous. Shout out to you, Ms. Baldwin. <laughs> um, yeah. I think... I think we're going to end it there. Well, no, we don't really have to end it there. I could show you guys this. Kind of like a mock stream, I guess you could say. If you're tuning in past this point then I guess you'd be interested in games or at least how I do the things that I'm trying to do. So basically with this setup here, um, I'm able to, you know, Twitch on stream stream on Twitch is what I really meant. Jesus Christ. I'm, 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 I'm high. Um, I'm able to stream on Twitch with this kind of nice setup and I'm able to kind of, well, at least I'm supposed to be able to like see when people follow me and donate and shit, but it's like, I hate to complain and well, I don't hate to complain. I mean, it's just a normal human function, but, um, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard to do all this shit. It's like, and also it's like my machine here, my, 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 my laptop isn't really like, you know, up to the highest specs. So this light is getting in a lot. So it's like, you know, I'm kind of in this weird battle of having to like balance out my semi even decent machine to 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 crank out efficient content to crank out you know content with music content with video it's just it's streaming it's just a lot but um yeah basically 
Let me show you guys what we're going to be on. For the for right now, at least, you know, as of April 2018, I'm going to be mostly doing Battlegrounds, Players Unknown Battlegrounds, um, Player Unknowns Battlegrounds, um, PUBG um, streams. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be on. That is what we're on right now. So, hey, I'm over here now. Um, if you tune in past this, you're going to be watching a full game of PUBG. This was the Rambling Rogue Show. That's all I've got. I did a lot of venting. You guys listened. I know I have to use my soundboard a little bit more. But, uh, and I guess I could even use it, like, even now during the game. I, you know, But... Thank you for watching if you if you watched and and if you're still tuning in, hey, you're about to catch hopefully a chicken dinner. Or maybe not, but that's Battlegrounds though. Okay? So, thank you for tuning in. I'm not going to cut this shit off. I don't know why I'm making it sound like it's ending, but yeah. Let's get into this stream. Let's get into this. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? For you guys, we are going to do. Mm, you know what? Yeah, some one-man squad action, first person. I, I reckon this is gonna be a bloodbath. All right, where are my glasses? Let's get to them. Let me move the mic a little bit. Thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate you so much. I got my gaming headphones on. It's Jai's Rogi. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the PUBG. This game is amazing. And uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. This shit is loading. Loading right now. It is la, 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 loading right now. I really like this game because, you know, man, I feel like every time I play it, you know, at least every other few times, at least... I feel like the experience gets better because I'm getting better. Because I'm getting more aware of the map, how people play, how I play, and how I can get, you know, more kills if I do this, or if I can get farther in the game if I rush here faster, or, you know, whatever. Like, it just, I'm just building on my knowledge, and it just feels like more knowledge goes into playing this game, and it just feels like more thought. You know, Shroud, I was watching a, a video. Shroud is a, a very popular, I think he's probably one of the best PUBG players, you know, right now. But on, on the uh, actual platform that PUBG was originally, you know, created for PC, he's just, you know, the best. But um, he was saying that this game has a reaction time of minutes where, you know, Fortnite, the PUBG killer, so they say has a reaction time of seconds and you know I mean the way he said it his tone was kind of like that knocks PUBG and I don't know if he's actually knocking it but you know I really appreciate that to be honest like I, I appreciate I appreciate when you know hey man a situation's going down and you know why it feels more badass in this game it just feels more badass because it's like badass shit was thought to be done like like in most situations where guys really make good plays it's really just a guy who's like just so fearless and so like rambo-esque you know action movie-esque that he just pulls some shit off that you just didn't think he would ever pull off you know like on some real like goku type like holy shit he just said that like like on some like yeah i just brought in anime while we was talking about that other shit but it's like it's that it's that effect of you know, like, excitement, 
that this game just has. And, and it just, I think it's just unrivaled there. All right, I hear bogeys. Oh, wow, that was a window we could jump through, and now it's not. Okay, is he gonna shoot at me? 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 No? Okay. Oh yeah, he has a gun. He has a gun in there. He has a rifle in there. We can show it. Oh mama. This could be you on the right side of this job. Oh mama. Hey, we are playing one man squad up in this. Throw in the reverse. Something, something, back it up and drop like baby, 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 then they pull up, try to clear. It happens, man. You just got to drop back in. Hope you guys have been entertained. This was the Rambling Rogue Show and a small PUBG stream. Ish. Thing. Thanks for watching. Sorry about that. Got like totally um, sidetracked and I'm also, you know, stoned as hell. I got like sidetracked by like shit Nigel was doing. Um, Virgil Abloh employs us to think, I guess, with synergy in mind. You know, he he kept stressing how important it is for a person not to be an island, and for you to really be very much receiving of new forces, new energy, new ideas collaboration and so much to the point where it's like you should even be actively just seeking you know what makes the now now you should be actively seeking hey why is this you know new song got the got got the bop that it does right now and why did the song of you know, that, that that was new back in 2013, have the bop that it did. I mean, he didn't make those examples, but it's like, it'll be shit like that. Like, putting your mind into these frames of of why, and then applying that thinking of why and saying, okay, how can I then create on top of that, ahead of the curve? He's kind of like giving the keys, man. It's like, I don't know, I feel like when he speaks about the shit that he speaks about with design and how he just not only designs like, you know, clothes and things like that, but he designs, you know, installations, he'll design, you know, something that goes into a room, he'll design a room, he'll design, you know, just other things, an album cover. Um, shit, I kind of lost my, my train of thought, I'm sorry. It just... When he speaks about designing all these, oh, I, I totally.